what is going on guys games here coming at you for a, another video today we are going to be talking about Dragon Ball the very next episode that's going to be coming this week uh, <coughs> it looked amazing of Gohan versus Piccolo and I figured I'd go ahead and talk that with you guys today because I like the fact of they are bringing back the relationship with Gohan and Piccolo because we have not seen much of that and also it's good to see Gohan train again to make him stronger we're also going to be seeing we don't know how strong he's going to be getting I know he's going to be trying to unlock his power because we all know that Gohan did not go all out in the expedition tournament he only went out a certain amount and he has that potential but he's not using it to the fullest I think Piccolo is going to show him how to do that and when he finally does I think it's really going to shock him to be like I still have that power and I think the reason why he goes to Piccolo is because Piccolo was his first teacher. He was everything that Piccolo taught him. He Piccolo taught him a lot of things. Goku taught him a lot of things, but Goku did a lot of things that Piccolo couldn't do. There's things Piccolo can do that go. It, it, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying by that. It, it just it. It's just a lot of things that makes Piccolo a good teacher and a good friend, and. It, it, it's it's great to finally see that they're working together again, and it's it's good. And I don't know what else to say because I think one of my favorite moments between Piccolo and Gohan was other than Piccolo sacrificing himself for Gohan when Gohan was a kid, and also when Gohan emerges from the time chamber and he goes to Piccolo asking him, "Can I have an outfit just like yours?" And he and he goes, "Well, you were my first teacher." And he's like, yeah, kid, it'll make you look real sharp. And he does that. And I love that scene so much. I really do. And it, it just, it really, I don't know what to say, guys. Like, that was just, I thought, a great scene. And it, it's just seeing them, like, back together for training is really cool because I like to see how strong Piccolo's gotten. I like to see how strong Gohan has gotten. We don't know how strong Piccolo has gotten because he does a lot of meditation. He does a lot of intense mind training. And I think that's the reason why Gohan's going there. So that way, one, he can physically train him as well as mentally train him for the upcoming tournament. Because Piccolo knows how to do that. Piccolo was the very first one to teach Gohan. Goku wasn't the one. Krillin wasn't the one. Nobody. It was Piccolo that taught Gohan how to fight. Piccolo has always been there to help Gohan, and he's always been there to teach him something. So there is still something that Gohan can be taught by Piccolo because Piccolo knew the reason why he got there. He's because he had that weak body, and that's the reason why he went to Piccolo because he knew that Piccolo would get him back to the shape and the power that he needs to be at so that way he can be there for the tournament to help everybody. And it, it you, you know, because anyone that is a Gohan fan like I am, I really do like Gohan, but I did not like him at the Star Super because he, he just, he became what Chi Chi wanted him to be. I mean, let's be honest. And he did not really want to, I mean, he wanted to be a, uh, a scholar and he wanted to be a fighter like his father and Piccolo and Krillin and all them, but Chi Chi rammed all that down his throat. And. She's doing the exact same thing to Goten. A few things we've seen about Goten, so who knows what's going to happen to Goten other than we know that he's going to be a ladies' man and in GT. So I like to see a production of Gohan, but right now with with I mean with Goten, but with Gohan, we I want to see Gohan be that badass from you know when he was a Super Saiyan two to when he was Ultimate Gohan when he first was against Majin Buu because I love that fight when he was going against Ultimate, when he was going up against Buu and he was Ultimate Gohan that was like probably the best fight that Gohan ever did other than when he went up against Cell Juniors and I think that that's what we need right now as fans as everything. So it's just a lot of uh, a lot of expectation, and with Piccolo, we didn't really see a whole lot with Piccolo when he fought Frost. I was like, "What the hell are you doing?" Like he he was more focused on that charging of the special bank cannon, and I was really like, "That was the only thing he did." And I was like, "Piccolo, what the hell are you doing?" And a lot of people did not like that. I know I didn't, and I'm hoping that we can see something other than just that. I'm hoping that we get to see a new move set. I'm hoping that there there's a new power level that Piccolo has probably reached. Uh, and maybe there's something that, that Piccolo is able to do that is going to be able to unlock Go, Gohan's potential and his power to get him back to the way he needs to be right now because of this tournament. Because he needs to be as powerful as possible. Otherwise, he's not going to be no use to anybody other than just his smarts because he also needs to have that power. Because if he does not have the power and the smarts, then what good is he going to be? Because he really does need to have those smarts. Because if he's not going to do that, then it's not going to be any good. 
So other than that, guys, I really want to see something from Gohan. I want to see something from Piccolo. I want to see if their technique has improved. I want to see if they learn some new movesets from each other or Piccolo can teach Gohan something that we have not seen. Or also, are they going to tell Piccolo about the actual consequences that they lose? Like, it's, it's really intense to see if Piccolo knows this because 17 now is the only one that knows this. Uh, 18 does not know this, neither does uh, Krillin, Majin Buu knows, Gohan knows, Goku knows, and now 17, that's it. Now, I don't think they're going to tell Roshi this, I don't think they're going to tell Tien this when, we find, when they finally do see them, I don't think so. If they do, I will be a little shocked, but sooner or later everybody's going to find out. Uh, I think 18 may be a little upset when she does find out, but... Nevertheless, I really don't know what's going to happen. I'm thinking they may tell Piccolo because of how smart Piccolo is, as well as has it, how his intellect is, how he's not easily fooled. He's very uh, like, okay, why are we doing this? What's so important about this? Who cares? You know, like, other than just for the hell of it. Because, yeah, he did that for the expedition. Not for the expedition, but for the Universe 6 tournament and 7. Other than that, we have not seen very much of him other than just uh, him babysitting and we want to see more of him being a fighter and being who he is so it's really intense to finally see that so I'm hoping the next coming episode we're going to see a lot of that I'm hoping we're going to see a lot of uh, different things that we have not seen out of both characters and I just can't wait to see it because we're finally going to see two great characters collide again and train for the first time in years and it's going to be a lot of fun so I hope you guys are excited as I am if you do leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Dragon Ball content as well as comment down below what you guys think about this episode as well as this video let me know what your feedback is I would really like that all my links can be down in the description below as normal so I hope you guys have a good day good night wherever you guys are